I know we have more than a year left, and um, you know, it's it's. I I want to say you encourage me to serve and to run, um, and I know you say it's been an honor, but really the honor is ours and the, the people of Auburn to have had to have you as their mayor and um, Auburn is in a very good place thanks to you and we're going to keep going and making it a better place um, and I know it's a tough decision um, but I really just want to say that that it's um, it's I look forward to working with you this year and um, you know I know you need to spend more time with with Joni and and uh, uh, your children and grandchildren and but um, it's it's gonna be different without you mayor and um, it's, it's been um, a, a great it's a great pleasure working with you thank you If I may, um, I, I will re reiterate everything that Councillor Cuddy said. Um, you and I have known each other for quite some time. I was your paper boy. Um, yeah, I, we, let's not get into yeah, that. Yeah, we won't, we won't talk about the tips. Um, but when I first ran, I ran on the ticket with you. And I remember our first interaction was we drove over to Syracuse for the Veterans Party endorsement. And we got there and we were sitting, we were waiting. I was, I was nervous as heck, um, my first introduction into this. And I just remember you saying one thing to me, you just looked at me and you said, be yourself. And I think <clears throat> that epitomizes the way you've led this city as mayor, is you've always been yourself. You've done what's right. And I don't think that there's any other secret to being a good leader is, is to be yourself. And I'm thankful for having to make, been had the opportunity to serve with you for eight years and I'm I'm so proud of the work that we've done collectively both as a governing body and with our city staff and like you said there's another year left and I'm anxious to see what we can get done in the next 13 months but thank you thank and Joni thank you too I just wanna, so you didn't mention this when I told you I was gonna run so I'm gonna assume you just thought of it recently but and we don't get to vote on it. Not to interrupt you, Councilor, but you never asked a question. I'll never <laughs> lie to you, but you didn't ask a question. No, um, I, I really agree with what they said, and they've had a chance to work with you longer than I have, but I really appreciate your guidance and your leadership, and we're going to miss you. And um, you did have a conversation with me years ago about getting involved, and that played into my decision as well. So thank you very much. We're going to miss you. Thank you. You've been great to me, Mayor. I mean, I don't know what else to say. Did you have to be great to me? I don't know, but you, you were. And I just want to leave it at that. You know, Councilor, I, I really believe you treat people the way they treat you. And if you don't like the way they treat you, turn it around. So thank you. Thanks for everything. All right. May I say something, Mayor? Absolutely. Um, on behalf of all the city staff, uh, from the city manager, department heads, and all of our employees, we appreciate you as our leader. Thank you for all that you've done, your vision, your leadership. And also, um, I just wanted to personally say thank you for um, the transition of the code enforcement office from the fire department to the planning office. I remember meeting with you that day and getting a lot of guidance. So thank you very much. We appreciate it. And um, we look forward to working with you in this next year and beyond. Thank you. I'm not, I'm happy because I, I've made my mind up and, and I want to move on. I'm still worried about the four of you, how you're going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> just, just block my phone call. <laughs> that's, that's fair. But thank, thank you very much.